Okay, so now we're ready to take off the capacitor. Very important to uh, note where these wires come from. I've, I've drawn a little picture of a uh, capacitor here. Even though it's got four studs, um, there are just two pairs um, of studs. The yellow goes to one side and uh, the uh, white with a red stripe goes to the other. And so now it's time to get that 11mm uh, spanner and pop it through the shaft and it's got a flat edge it's round shaft but it's got a flat on it so it holds it nice and tight so that you can get a, uh, a strap wrench uh, around the impeller these are an incredibly handy tool you just cannot do without them if you're doing a lot of pumps uh, because they are rubber you can put a lot of pressure on the plastic impellers and uh, it will not damage them so this is turning anti-clockwise it's a right hand thread Things to look for when you get the impeller off, quite often they uh, can fracture in the centre and if you hold them up to the light you, you can often see just how bad they are. Also the, the metal boss, check that where the thread is, uh, the back of them can rust and uh, thereby the, the seals will not sit straight so uh, make sure that they're not too corroded and rusted. So this is the bit where we remove the uh, contact part of the centrifugal switch mechanism. This is the uh, switch that opens circuits and takes out the start winding once the pump's up to speed. Just pop them in there to keep them safe. And now we're ready to take off the seal plate. 